Spelland. <laughs> Why did it take me literally like three years to realize what it even meant? This American has been sharing her top British words that she's learned since she's moved to the UK. Now then, what's this? So we have phrases that I didn't know about now. I can't live without. Let's do it. <laughs> Bloody hell. How did I, how did I get through 30 years without saying it? How? In it. How, how did I not say it? I can't stop saying it now. And it's good because it's a sentence. It's a question. It's descriptive. In it. <laughs> this one's groundbreaking. Right. Imagine. So for 30 years, I left places and didn't say right. H how did I go? How did I leave in the States? How did I leave places? Right. I, I can't. It's unfathomable. <laughs> British and Over here, you can pretty much use anything as an insult as long as you put absolute before it, like any object. So someone said like absolute lamppost. <clears throat> Is that an insult? So anything can be an insult. You absolute door handle. As long as you put absolute in front of it. Anything goes. You absolute milk carton. <clears throat> you can't, can you? That's not right, is it? brand names that just wouldn't work in America. Let's do it. Now then, when I first moved here, this really threw me a digestive. I thought this was a medicinal biscuit that aided in um, using the bathroom, if you know what I mean. Don't think you'd go over well in the States, even though it's a lovely biscuit. There's no way to break this to you lightly. A magnum in the US of A is a uh, type of condom. Okay, so it wouldn't work. Minstrels. First thing that comes to mind for me is the menstrual cycle. Um, and I know it's not spelt that way, but it just, I don't see it working, which is a shame because it's a, it's, a, it's a great, it's a great little game changer those are. So good. And you know what? She's right. We do have some weird sayings in English. Like for example, spill the beans. Where did that even come from? Are we talking Heinz baked beans? No, we're not. I'm going to tell you the answer because I did some research. <laughs> so apparently it comes from ancient Greece because they used to have an anonymous voting system with black and white beans and the collector would pull the beans out to show the result of the vote. English with Emily. <laughs> now, do you have any weird English sayings that just have never made sense to you? Let us know yours down in the comments. And of course, if you have any videos that you want to share with us, send it over to the team. And if yours gets featured, you get $250.